The, uh, the NAYC Code of Ethical Conduct uh, has been used for the last 20 years, and we have had a number of resources to help the field use the code. Um, but uh, in looking at it, enhancing this work, so what is it that we can do to help the code be more visible and more widely used? Well, I would like us to really think about that, mm -hmm. because I think it should be. Mm -hmm. After my 20 years of experience with it, um, I have found so many positive responses. People are glad to have it, they use it. Um, and then every time I do a workshop, someone comes in, is it code? <laughs> I, I heard there was a code. I came to find out about mm -hmm. it. So we haven't Hit completed everybody. this right, job right. yet. Um, first, all of our members can share it with other people. Um, they can buy copies um, in the brochure form, which is a little more user-friendly. They can download it from the NAEYC website. They can use the two books published by NAEYC. Um, and other articles and resources. So I think sharing it is really important. If you know the code, you like it, you've used it, tell people about it. Mm -hmm. um, I think you can share it with families. I'm talking to programs that say, we put it up on our wall and we say we follow this. And so let, let people outside of the field know that we have a code of ethics, we follow it, and I think that will help us to appear um, much more in a professional role. I think mm -hmm. people respect us for that. Um, provide training for other people in using the code. Um, the resources that we just mentioned, we have a nice book on teaching the code of ethics that has lots of good activities. Uh, if you have used it, you think it's worthwhile, you can do some workshops with your staff, mm -hmm. you can um, do some workshop with your, workshops with your local AEYC. Um, and we have on the NAEYC website in the Early Childhood Professionals pages, uh, there's a PowerPoint on, that can be used in, in training and some situations that, that people can download and use those as a handout in their training. So we're also helping helping our field to use the code in training as well. And that's, that, thank you for doing that. Yes. That's great mm -hmm. that it's there. Um, we regularly do sessions on the code. Um, at we, the annual conference. At the conferences. Institute we, of Professional Development. That's right. Yeah. There's usually one that Nancy Freeman and I do. Sometimes Peter does the, the session with mm -hmm. us. Other people do sessions on the codes of ethics. So um, come to those sessions, and if you think you're, you know this stuff and you're good at it, um, offer a session. If you're not quite yes. sure, if you're not quite sure, um, contact me through Peter, and I'd be happy to give you feedback on a on a training plan that you have if if you right, are and we'll ready to do it. Provide resources as well. And yeah, yeah and not yeah. not quite sure about it. Um, the thing I would really love to see happen would be for us all through our affiliates individually to help the community know we have this code, we follow it, we have. We have these important values. We do these, this important work, and we want you to know it. And I think that's really the next, yeah. the next place to focus. I mm -hmm. think we've done pretty well among ourselves, and maybe even with the families. Mm -hmm. But um, I, I wonder if you went to legislators and policymakers if they would know it. So mm -hmm. I think this is the challenge to us: yeah. is let other people know that we, we have these moral commitments and we're serious about them. And um, one of the things that, that my colleague Nancy Freeman says is that NAEYC is really unique in both having the code and really having made the commitment to get the word out about it. Mm -hmm. um, doing the su supporting resources, having it online. And she thinks that it would be real, and I agree with, with her, it would be good if we were to talk to educators of older children about the value of having a code of ethics um, and, and just broadening our reach. Um, elementary educators have a code, but mostly they don't know it. Mm. So I think helping people see that this is a valuable resource for us and that other fields, other educational fields could do the same thing. Yeah, yeah definitely. In the 20 years of, of having the code, um, 
Stephanie, what, what is your reflection of the most important thing? I think for me, what just keeps getting stronger um, is the sense of the importance of the work we do. Mm. That while we may not be viewed as a true profession by everyone, why, while we may have people working with young children who don't have a lot of training, um, while we have way too many people in this field who are, who are not paid the wage that they deserve, um, we have such a, an awesome responsibility to children. Mm -hmm. um, and so, so for me, that insight about our role in society and the importance of the work we do and because the work is so important, and because we can do so much good for young children in getting them started um, in, in their attitudes towards school and supporting their development and helping their parents learn to understand something about, about child development, we can do such good and we can do so much harm. Yeah. Yeah. And because of the importance of the work, I think that knowing and following our ethical guidelines is absolutely imperative. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Stephanie. This has been a wonderful opportunity to have this dialogue, and we hope that you have all enjoyed it and learned something as well.